Elder Milo Andres addressed the assemblage. He spoke of the peace enjoyed by the Latter-day Saints and contrasted their condition in this respect now with circumstances through which they had passed in times gone by, and adverted to incidents which were calculated to cause them to appreciate peace when they had it. The reason the elders of Israel were enabled to declare the truth with boldness was because it was the power of God unto salvation. When we looked at the handiwork of God as displayed in the planetary system, etc., we beheld a portion of the gospel of Jesus Christ, because such things showed forth the power of God. It was easy for people to know whether we were impostors or not, for we promised that all who complied with the requisitions of the gospel would receive a knowledge for themselves of the truth. If people subscribed to the conditions and the result did not follow, they might reasonably conclude that the Latter-day Saints did not tell the truth. The speaker had been identified with the work of God since 1832, and he had never had any reason to repent of his obedience to the truth. Elder Andrus stated that he once, when in a congregation of the saints, was meditating upon the power of the Holy Ghost, and felt a desire to understand its manifestations, and the visions of his mind were opened by the power of God, and he saw, over the heads of the people in the congregation, cloven tongues of fire, and many of the people arose and spoke in various tongues and prophesied. He continued to speak of the nature of the work of God, its indestructibility and organization, and predicted the ultimate and glorious triumph of the same. He concluded by bearing testimony that Joseph Smith was a prophet of the living God, and that Brigham Young was his legal successor.